What's up boys and girls? Welcome back to Expression Culture. You join me, Gareth, the Honda Guru. We've got another video on the jazz this time. Well, not actually on the jazz, but more parts for the jazz. As you might be able to see behind me, we've got some new tires going on the jazz, which are going on the new wheels, which you would have seen in the last video, the rotor grids uh, that I bought uh, from Driftworks actually, I have to think about that, they were born from, usually buy my wheels from Rimstyle. Uh, actually the last two um, sets of rotors I bought from Driftworks. The uh, CRZ, that's got uh, rotor titans, which I bought from uh, Driftworks. And um, the rotor grids that I recently bought for the Jazz, which is over there in the background, you can just about see it. So yeah, tomorrow I'm going to uh, the tire fitting bay, uh, whatever you want to call it, tire fitting shop. Uh, it's for the same company I actually work for, so that's quite handy. Let's show you what I've bought. So anyone that knows me closely will know that I am a big fan of Yokohama, and I'm also um, a bit of a tire snob. Now, I've heard lots of good things about these tires. I did actually fit the same um, model tire to um, Alex's GK5 Jazz that I built for him um, and they're really good tyres, really good ratings as you can see there uh, C grade for fuel efficiency and then A for wet grip and also only 67 decibels that's the main thing that I'm interested in uh, because the Jazz being an older model sound um, insulation isn't as great as you can see it's got this awesome tread design as well which is obviously asymmetric i believe uh, they are a 300 tread rating or tread wear rating so they shouldn't wear out too quickly um, but they're quite sticky as well really uh, obviously that's because they're new um yeah obviously this is the oh, you can't really see it that side yokohama advan I don't know if it's pronounced flavor or flavor flavor or something like that. Uh, V701. Got these off eBay. Quite a good deal. Um, obviously, yeah, I'm getting these for you to my work. There's the old Yokohama Advan flavor model. Uh, big somewhere. They say they're made in Japan, which is always good. Um, da -da -da -da. You see, there's a 300 tread wear, and I swear I saw it made. Oh, there you go. Made in Japan. Can't get any better than that. So what I'm going to do tomorrow morning, I'm going to get up uh, fairly early and uh, get them loaded to the car, get the wheels loaded into the car, and then um, get them fitted. Good morning boys and girls so as you've just seen tires and alloys are now loaded into the back of the jazz so now I'm gonna make my way down to the tire bay tire shop whatever you want to call it um, to go get them mounted obviously got me morning juice my own favorite well I, I love to have this one in summer because it's, it's nice and citrus and fresh and orange and lemon yummy so yeah I'm gonna make my way down there now hopefully I'll be able to film some of the process um, or all of it um, and then we'll go from there um, 
Let's hope for a good day. Hope there's no problems. Uh, can't see why there won't be. The brand new tires, brand new wheels, but you never know. All right, I'll see you when I'm there. What's up, boys and girls? <laughs> that didn't go to plan. By the time I actually got the tires and the wheels out of the car, they were virtually done. <laughs> So I didn't really get to film the process. Anyway, let's have a look at what we've got. Yeah. Car needs to clean. I'm going to do that today. Here we go. So these are the new rims. Right grids. With the new tyres on. I think you'd agree. They look absolutely mega. I didn't realise how like metallic they were. Let's see if I can try and get that for you. Cool sticker. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if it's going to come out in the camera, but look at that metallic. Crazy. The guy said they were they are so light as well. So I'll just put that bit bit of cloth there so they don't mark each other. So don't 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 worry. <laughs> but yeah, they look so good. They look a bit more bronze than I thought. I'm not sure that's the light. I mean, when they're not in the light, you can quite clearly see they're gunmetal, but yeah, man. These are going to look amazing on the car. Sadly for you guys, you're going to have to wait for the next video for them to be mounted on the car. Um, so we keep going on like a, I don't know, several, a series of, of little episodes trying to keep the content flowing. Um, obviously I don't want you guys getting bored so next video I'm going to be fitting the wheels I'm also going to be fitting them with Makuti I think that's how they're pronounced um, super tuna blocking wheel nuts so that'll be in the next video so you actually see the video the wheels getting mounted I'm now going to give this car a plane because it's uh it's, it's filthy <laughs> I've got to think where I'm going to store these wheels as well uh, and then after that the next video will be, uh, I think it will work this way, is um, I'll be fitting some cam bolts to the, the, the car. And then it's also going in for an alignment next week. Um, so once that's done, that's pretty much the car done for now. Um, obviously there's a lot more I want to do to it. Uh, you'll have to stick around for that, see what I'll do to it. Uh, but thanks for tuning in guys and uh, sorry it was a little bit disappointing we're not going to have to record um, the actual tire fitting process but the guys are so quick um, <laughs> I didn't get a chance <laughs> right so like to share subscribe and all that jazz uh, speaking of jazz <laughs> ironic yeah we're going we're trying to go a bit further with this car obviously i've still got stuff to do to the crz and um, waiting on parts for that uh, nothing no aftermarket parts just uh car's getting of age now so only a few bits are having to be done to it um, so yeah thanks for tuning in i uh, will see you on the next video